A single electron is fired at a solid wall with two narrow slits, and somehow it passes through both. Yet, the instant we set up a detector to watch it, that ghostly magic vanishes and the electron travels through just one slit like a normal particle. How can a tiny particle know when it's being observed? Does reality only exist when we look at it? This famous double slit experiment broke our understanding of the nature of things and raises a surprising possibility. The reality we take for granted might be one grand illusion. At human scales, the world feels solid and predictable. If you throw a baseball at a wall with two windows, it will crash through one window or the other, if you have good aim, obviously, but not both. Classical physics was built on this common sense idea that objects have one definite path. But zoom in to the subatomic world, and things get bizarre, very bizarre. Inside an atom, particles don't move along neat paths. They flow and flutter like fuzzy waves of possibility. Over two centuries ago, scientists got their first hint of this weirdness. In 1801, Thomas Young aimed a beam of light at a barrier with two slits and observed something shocking. Instead of two bright spots on the screen behind, he saw a pattern of light and dark stripes, as if the light waves were interfering with each other. On the screen, bright and dark fringes of light lined up, a signature of wave interference. Light, which many had thought was a stream of tiny particles, was now behaving like a wave. Picture it like water waves passing through two gaps and creating a rippling pattern on the other side. Over a hundred years later, things got even stranger. In 1927, scientists fired electrons one by one at a pair of slits. You'd expect two neat clumps behind the slits, but instead, a striped interference pattern emerged. It was as if each electron passed through both slits as a wave and interfered with itself, even when fired individually. By the way, if Cosmic Mysteries excites you, subscribe to join us. This was our first major clue that at the quantum scale, particles are also waves. Scientists pushed the double slit experiment to the max with bigger objects, not just electrons or atoms, but complex molecules. In one case, a molecule made of 2,000 atoms still created an interference pattern. By now, it was clear. Everything can act like a wave of probability when you're not looking. So what happens if we do look? Physicists grew curious and a bit playful. They decided to peek at the particles mid-trick. Tiny detectors were placed at the slits to see which slit each electron actually went through. The expectation? Finally catch the electron in the act. But the result was a cosmic prank. The moment the electrons knew they were being watched, the interference pattern vanished. Instead of mysterious stripes, the screen showed two clear piles of hits, one behind each slit. The electrons behaved like normal particles, as if saying, all right, you caught me. By observing the electron's path, we forced it to pick a side, destroying the wave interference. This was completely mind-blowing. A particle seemed to alter its behavior simply because it was observed. It's as if reality itself only makes up its mind when we try to look at it. But as incomprehensible as this all was, the double-slit drama was only getting started. What was really going on behind the scenes? Let's pause time and imagine the world from the electron's perspective. In the darkness between the emitter and the screen, the electron isn't a little dot at all. It's a spread out cloud of possibilities without a real defined position. It goes through both slits at once, but the instant we try to catch it, it collapses into a single solid dot. But why would a lifeless electron care about being watched? 
Physicists have scratched their heads and come up with a few wild theories. Perhaps the electron really is a wave of probability until measurement forces it to become a particle. This is called the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. The act of measurement is what stops the uncertainty and turns reality into a definite outcome. But this raises an exciting question. What counts as a measurement? Does an electron need a conscious observer or just any interaction? Well, even a stray photon bouncing off the electron can collapse its wave. It's like the universe has a rule that information can't be hidden. The moment something could be known, even theoretically, the uncertainty disappears. However, this explanation doesn't tell us how or why observation has such power. It just says, that's how nature is. Another theory is that maybe there is no collapse at all. Instead, every possibility happens, but in separate universes. According to the Many Worlds interpretation, when the electron reaches the slits, reality splits. In one branch of the multiverse, the electron goes through the left slit, in another, through the right, and these overlapping worlds create the interference pattern. When we observe, we ourselves become entangled with one outcome or the other, and the interference between worlds is lost. It's staggering, but it neatly removes the need for a special observer effect. At the cost of saying, there are countless parallel versions of us watching countless alternate outcomes. Each idea is mind-blowing, and none is easy to accept. Yet, the double-slit experiment demands some explanation. Because just when you think it can't get stranger, it does. In a delayed choice experiment, scientists let an electron pass through the slits, then decided after it went through whether to measure which slit it took. Incredibly, the electron behaved as if it knew what would happen. If a measurement was eventually made, the electron seemed to have gone through a single slit all along. If not, it had remained a wave and gone through both. Does this mean reality reversed and rewrote itself instantly? What we thought was a solid timeline starts to stagger. How can a choice in the present affect what a particle did in the past? Now we've hit the real paradox, the kind that breaks not just the laws of physics, but our ability to even ask the right questions. Time loops, reversed causality, decisions that echo backward. Either our deepest assumptions are wrong, or reality plays by rules we were never meant to understand. But before we give up on logic entirely, there's one more clue, and it changes everything. So does reality wait for us before choosing its form? The classic double slit is just the tip of the iceberg. In 2019, physicists chilled a diamond chip to millikelvin temperatures and launched a single surface acoustic wave phonon, a quantum of sound, along two indistinguishable routes between superconducting qubits. After the phonon hit the detector, they erased the witch path record stored in an ancilla qubit. When they later sifted the data for the runs where that erasure succeeded, a crisp interference pattern emerged, proving the wave-like option had always been there. Quantum mechanics lets us decide after the event whether we see particles or waves, leaving us to wonder who's really running the show, us or the very questions we choose to ask.